Hey guys, what's up? It is Jeremy from the Archery Shack, and I've got a video for you. Sort of an interesting day. I had another video made, and somehow my file corrupted, and it deleted, and I couldn't recover it. So I'm going a different direction. I had a, a elite restringing video, but I needed to put something else together sort of quick. So I'm gonna talk about what I've got in my 3D seat when we go to tournaments. So I'm gonna go through my seat, just kind of show you what I towed around. If you've got a if you've got a seat or don't have a seat, I know some people still just wear hip quivers and carry some stuff in there, but I'm just gonna kind of show you what I take to these tournaments just in case I need some of this stuff. Okie dokie. So the reason we tote these seats around if you're not a, a tournament guy is sometimes you get into crowds of people or you have to wait a little while and it just makes it nice to have a seat and some stuff with you. So uh, this particular seat is the spider shot seat from Cottonwood Outdoors. I really like it. It's comfortable, a little taller than some of the other seats. It's got the quiver uh, mounted on one side with my arrows. And normally it comes with an umbrella strap on this side, but I had a, a part custom 3D printed. And it's got another arrow holder and then an umbrella holder. So what I carry with me on these shoots is, of course, I got my rangefinder because we mainly shoot known uh, shoots. Uh, I got my arrows over here. I've got my, in case my, it's the middle of the summer, in case my hands get sweaty, I got my towel. Of course, my release is in here. Binoculars. Binoculars are pretty important to be able to see where the rings are at or where your arrow went, that sort of thing. I found these Alpen binoculars are pretty good bang for the buck. I've got this little thing I carry with me, and it has got... I'm going to start pulling stuff out. I've got my Allen wrenches, my Torx wrenches, a little a set of small Allen wrenches in case there's a tiny little screw, a lighter in case I need to burn some kind of a serving, string separator, fiber optic. I've got loop and serving material along with some arrow knocks that I use. I've got some pliers just for whatever. And then I got a couple random fletchings in here and usually I must have dumped it out. I usually keep a little bit of glue in here just for if some sort of minor arrow repair needs to happen while we're out shooting. So I always keep that with me just for a quick fix. I have got a cell phone charger battery mainly because we shoot videos a lot of times when we shoot and if it goes dead there's my glue it fell out. I've got, I've been looking for that, a GoPro battery. A couple pins. Here's a little mini Phillips head screwdriver. I think you can flip it around, yeah. Just in case a little sight screw comes loose. I usually keep it in there. I guess it fell out. My, my thing had came open. And then here's another set of pliers I normally keep in there. So the cool thing about this seat, I'm gonna try to flip it around without dumping stuff out is it's also got a cooler built in you can detach it but then I, I keep you know like a banana and a drink in there it's got side pockets and then i've got i don't have any in there but usually i keep a pen or pencil uh over here to keep score with and that's pretty much it so it's not i got a little bit extra of stuff to work on bows mainly because if somebody has trouble they automatically start asking, can I fix it? I'd rather have a few things to tinker with. But this is what I carry around. It usually works out pretty well for me. It's got backpack straps. I've seen people make their own stool out of a cheap, you know, dove hunting stool. And then up to this one's runs about 130 bucks. So anything in between just makes it super nice. But I thought this would be a quick, neat video that I could put out since my other one got deleted. And uh, sometimes I'll carry a backup release, or it's just according to what we're, if we're going to like a national ASA shoot, I'll carry a little more stuff with me because I don't want to travel five or six hours and have something bad happen and me not be able to fix it. And you know, if we're at a local shoot, I'll pack kind of light because I'm not too worried about it. So anyway, let me know in the comments what kind of seat you use. I don't know if it, it, you can go in our Facebook group, Friends of the Archery Shack post a picture of your setup. I'll be curious to see what you guys tote. We've even had a wagon we set up before, a little fold out wagon with quivers on it. It just became a little too big of something to drag along, but 
Let me know what else you have in your bag different than this. Thank you for watching, and we'll be uh, back on, uh, we'll have our podcast out on Tuesday as usual, and we'll be live on Thursday. So I hope y'all are doing good in the middle of all this virus mess. Stay safe, stay clean, keep your hands washed, stay away from people for the time being, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching, and hit the subscribe button if you hadn't already. See y'all later.